Hello everyone, I am Harini, a product marketer here at Begin and today we are going to take a look at an exciting new enhancement which will help make crunching numbers all the more easy. We understand that your business is dynamic and so is the data involved in running it. Information like the size and priority of deals, the commission on every closed deal, the discounted prices of different products, the payment due dates on different purchases, etc. may vary on a case-by-case -case basis. Not only is it extremely difficult to manually compute all this information, such a process is often prone to errors and delays. And this is where formula fields come to your rescue. This field type will do all the mathematical and conditional calculations based on your requirements and then provide you with the up-to-date information. Let's take a look at how Zilker Corp, an electronics company, can leverage formula fields to their advantage. Zilker deals with both individual and bulk orders. Obviously, the $10,000 deal with a software company will require more time and attention compared to, let's say, uh, an inquiry for a $150 headphone. It will be extremely difficult for Zilker's sales representatives to go through each and every deal in order to determine its importance. How about we help them out by creating a formula field which will automatically categorize a deal as either large or small based on the deal amount. In order to do so, you can click on the create field option in the sheet or list views or you can head to settings and then click on fields. Click on the pipeline fields tab because Zilker stores all of its deals in begins sales pipeline. Then you can choose the customize fields button, click on the add custom field button and then we can name our field as deal size. Once that's done, we'll choose formula as the field type and then we'll have to choose the output type. The output type will basically determine the kind of data which will appear in your formula field. Since we need begin to tell us if a deal is large or small, we'll be going with the string field type for this particular scenario. Now we can start curating our formula. Begin provides you with a wide array of functions and operations to help you calculate any and all information required to run your business. In this case, we'll be using the if function. You can either click on the functions tab or you can enter the shortcut at to get a list of all available functions from which we can choose if. Now, we'll be choosing the field which is involved in this particular formula. You can either click on the fields tab or you can type the shortcut hashtag to get a list of all available fields from which we'll be choosing the amount field. In this particular case, our condition is that the deal amount should be greater than or equal to 10,000 for a deal to be categorized as large. Therefore, we'll be using the operator greater than or equal to. You can either click on the operators tab or you can enter the shortcut tilde to get a list of all available operators from which you can choose the operator of your requirement. Once that's done, we can complete the condition, enter comma and then enter what begin needs to display if that particular condition is being met. So if the deal amount is greater than 10,000, we need begin to tell us that it is a large deal. Hence, we'll be entering large deal. Once that's done, we need to enter the output that needs to be displayed if the condition is not met. So we'll be entering small deal and with that you can click on the check syntax button and would you look at that we don't have any errors but do not worry in case you do make an error begin will highlight it and then help you rectify it once that's done you can add a tooltip for you and your team's reference
Once that's done, you can set the blank value preferences. The blank value preferences will determine what will appear in the formula field if the fields involved in the formula do not have any values in them. So the blank value can either be a special character based on your output type or it can simply be blank. Once you've said that, you can click on save and your field is created. Again, click on save. As you can see, the deal size field is now a part of the pipeline module. How about we head to the pipeline module to see this field in action. Now let's create a deal. Uh, the deal name can be your customer's requirement. Let's say they require a 55 inch TV and a home theater system. Uh, and then you can choose your contacts name and then the stage. Let's say that this deal is worth $12,000. We can set a closing date and click on save. That's done. And would you look at that? Begin has classified this deal as a large deal based on the deal amount. Another example of a formula field is the commission field that I have created over here. This field will basically calculate the commission that every sales rep will get based on the deal amount. These two examples are just the tip of the iceberg. Sales reps can use formula fields to determine which leads are cold. Educators can use this to give grades based on students' marks. Insurance agents can determine which of their clients haven't paid their premiums yet. The possibilities are truly endless with Begin's formula field. Head to our description where we've added the help documents that can guide you through creating formula fields suited for your business. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. We'll be back with another exciting feature. Until then, have fun trying out our formula fields. Thank you.